Welcome to MRA's Heard It on the Hotline video series regarding the coronavirus outbreak. I'm Lori Greenlees, Human Resources Director of the MRA HR Hotline team. One of the questions that we've been handling from our members recently is regarding employees who are traveling for personal reasons. Um, employers cannot force an employee to cease all travel for personal reasons or cancel their vacations. So it's very um, possible that you may have an employee choosing to get on a plane and travel to Florida in the upcoming week. When those situations arrive, our, arise, our recommendation first and foremost is to communicate your expectations with that employee up front before they head out on that vacation so they know what the expectations are when they come back to work and how the employer is going to handle it. Uh, whether you allow the employee to come back to work um, is really a decision that you, the employer, can make individually. Our recommendation is if you have the ability to allow that employee to re work remote for a two-week period, that's the best case scenario. Encourage them to stay home, work remote, just as a precaution. If the employee is not able to work remote, you can still ask them to stay home for that two-week period just again with an abundance of caution to prevent any possible risk of the spread of the disease or germs that they may have come in contact with during that travel. Um, if the employee is able to substitute paid time off, vacation pay, um, that would be encouraged during this time frame as well. Or the employer may choose to or elect to go above and beyond what's required and offer them that time off as a paid benefit to the individual based on this unique circumstance that we're in these days. If you have questions around the coronavirus outbreak, please don't hesitate to reach out to our HR hotline team. Our HR professionals are ready to help you.